Hey everyone, it is Monday, April 10th. The time is just after 2 p.m. and it is a scorching hot 36 degrees Celsius here in Bangkok, Thailand. And this is Sukhumvit Soy 2. And for this one, I'm gonna be taking a walk around and giving a review of what I think is the best value hotel I've ever stayed at here in Bangkok. And I'm starting off down the street from the hotel just to give some perspective as to where it's located. Off in that direction is the main Sukhumvit Road. And just around the corner to the left is a BTS station. And you can take that over to Phaya Thai where you can connect to the airport railroad link. So it's quite conveniently located. And there's the Five Star Marriott Hotel. And right around the corner from that is the infamous Soy 4 or Soy Nana, which gets very loud at night. Soy 2 here is much quieter. And I actually booked a stay at this double tree on the right. It looks phenomenal. I think Hilton purchased this property about three years ago and rebranded it. But it's also about three times the cost of where I'm staying. This is my favorite area to stay in Bangkok. And I've stayed at a number of hotels on this street. And I'm about to walk by one just here on the left. This is the Hotel Icon coming up. And that's a really nice property and it's priced about the same as where I'm staying. And it's got a nice rooftop pool, although not as good as the one where I'll be showing you pretty soon. And there used to be an alleyway that would connect you over to Soy 4 called Raja Alley, but that has disappeared. So from the hotel, it's about 350 meters down to the Plowinchit Center, which is right on Sukhumvit Road. And there you'll find a Tim Hortons, a McDonald's, some Thai restaurants, some other cafes. There's a currency exchange just in front. And crucially, there's a convenience store. So if you're the type to go for a little bit of a walk every time you leave your hotel, I think this is ideally situated. I'm certainly not opposed to it. And here's the hotel, the Sure State Plus by Best Western. And I booked here for two nights. I did not include breakfast, but I'm only paying $62 Canadian a night. And keep in mind that this is peak season pricing. I did have to hunt around a little bit to get it that low. And a great thing about this hotel, if you want to head down to the main road, just let reception know and you can hop into this thing and they'll take you down right away. As far as getting back here from there goes, I think you're on your own. Although maybe you could call the hotel and they'll send it down. I've never really bothered to check with that. So we'll head into the lobby here. And there is a restaurant. This is where you would have breakfast. Oh, they have smoothies. Strawberry smoothie, 150 baht. Looks like there's a staff meeting going on right now. So let's head up to the rooftop facilities before I check out the room.
I am staying on floor five. And you do need to swipe your card to get to one of the room floors. But we'll go check out the gym and what I think is a fantastic rooftop swimming pool. When you're staying in Bangkok and it can get 36 degrees, this is a much needed feature of any hotel I'll stay at. In fact, I think I'll go up there when I'm done recording this. There we go. So there's an exercise facility. I almost never see anyone use these. There's a couple of bathrooms. And there's a look over at the infamous Soy 4. There's a parking lot. Are those Rolls Royces down there? I didn't notice that. You have the Bangkok International Dental Hospital right there. Apparently that's a great spot to get your teeth done. There's a look along Soy 2. I started just off in that direction, right in front of the double tree. But what a million dollar view this is. If only there weren't a highway spoiling it. Anyways, let's go check out the rooftop pool. And there are the citrus sweets. And I stayed there last time. I think that was in October. And I have a review and walkthrough of that hotel up on the Johnny Strides channel. That one is on Soy 4. And there's the Novotel and Ibis Styles. Look at this. Not quite an infinity pool, but almost. For sort of a mid-range boutique hotel, that's a little bit on the value side. This is as nice of a rooftop facility as I've ever seen. In fact, I am excited to come take a dip as soon as I'm done recording this. All right, let's head down to the room. So obviously everyone's different and has their own preferences, but for me, a rooftop pool is a must. And I kind of find there's diminishing returns at a certain point once you go over a certain standard of hotel room. And this one absolutely hits the sweet spot for me. I really don't think I would 
appreciate a much more expensive room to justify the added cost. So when I do travel, this is exactly the type of place I try and seek out. The location, I'll say, is an A, not quite an A+, plus, just because there's that little walk down on the main Sucumbent Road. But you can easily walk to like Terminal 21 or even Central and all the other malls. Or you could just take the BTS. And here is what I think is the best value room I've ever stayed at. You could obviously get much cheaper rooms, but I don't think you can get a cheaper room that's this good. Again, 62 Canadian dollars, and no housekeeping did not make that bet. I just quickly did that for the sake of the video. But yeah, this is the bedroom. I only turned on the TV once. There were plenty of English channels and the quality was decent. Sometimes in hotels you don't get a lot of English channels and the quality can be awful, but they've done it pretty well. And it's in the right spot across from the TV. There's bedside tables, plenty of outlets and plugs. They are all over the place. There's a couple right there. There's a couple more on the other side of the bed. Another one there. This little love seat, which I use just to throw shit on. You can open these windows if you want. I'm not going to bother. But that's a look over towards Soy 4. It's certainly a big hotel room. I think this is just their standard queen or king room, whatever they call it. There's this work area. A fridge. The mini bar prices are pretty high. 75 baht for a Coke. I think that's like 16 at the convenience store or no more than 25. So definitely go buy your own stuff and fill it up. And that's what I've done. I'm currently getting some work done too far away. Windows Hello Recognition not picking me up from there. But I'm rendering a video right now. So yeah, nice workspace. The internet speeds are okay. You get about 30 down and about 15 up, which for 99% of people are going to be fine. But for me, the up upload speed is a bit on the slow side since I upload monster files. Pretty good size cupboard or closet, it's not a cupboard. And a nice big safe that you could easily put most laptops into. Hair dryer. I think these are for putting your suitcases on, but I always just kind of dry clothes on them. Maybe I'm a weirdo. And there is an air conditioning unit that works quite well. And crucially, I did, I always book for two adults as long as breakfast isn't included, because that doesn't really impact the price. If breakfast is included, sometimes booking two adults does jack up the price, so be careful. But I'm not sure if that's the reason why they gave me two room cards, but I always do that and ask for a second room card and just say like, hey, I booked for two. At least give me two cards. And that way I can keep the electricity running and crucially the air conditioning running. So it's nice and cool when I come back. Yeah, it's bad for the environment, but it is what it is. And the bathroom is nice and big, huge counter space. Nice deep sink, good size mirror. And they give you two small hand towels and two full size towels. And those are my trunks. Nice big toilet, a couple of rolls of toilet paper and the bum gun. And yes, that is what you use to wash your ass after doing your business. And an excellent shower. You get a rainfall shower up top and a detachable shower head. Can I turn this on without getting wet? Good pressure. It gets nice and hot, but it does take maybe about 30 seconds to heat up. So it's a bit on the slow side. 
and that over there. And if you put it in the middle, you can activate both. A lot of hotels you cannot have both going at the same time. And they give you a shampoo and a conditioner, a bar of soap, some basic toiletries, toothpaste. I always, I don't get why people bring travel toothbrushes. I just bring an electric toothbrush and I can take the head off and make that fit into this. Well, that, I used to have another bag, bag, whatever you call it, <laughs> to put my toiletries in, but I got that from Air Canada as part of the amenities kit. So I've been using that, but there we go. This is the best Western SureStay Plus on Secumbit Soy 2. Absolutely fantastic value. Oh yeah, the bed is super comfortable. It's kind of a medium firmness. It's not too hard, not too soft. Noise proof or proofing is excellent. I don't hear people coming and going. I don't hear any sound from outside. I slept for the first time this trip like a baby. And this is a hell of a step up from the Airbnb I stayed at in Seoul. And you know what? I think we can, oh, I can show you. Okay, so negatives, that's what I forgot. What's bad? Uh, slow upload speed, not great. Um, that's about it. <laughs> it's, again, it's just phenomenal. It seems to lack character and personality, but it's nice and clean, well appointed, very generously sized. This is probably going to be the best value hotel I stay at on this trip. It won't be the best hotel. Here's a negative. Watch this. Okay, let's go, right? No. You have to give it a little tuck. At least this door you do. But I noticed something. We're in another room. Oh, that's my phone going off there. Kind of freaked me out. I snuck into this room and I heard voices. So this is that room there. Actually, I think my room is a bit better than this one. This one's a bit smaller. And they've got this do not disturb or make up room, which you can toggle from inside the room. There we go. The Best Western sure stay. I hope you enjoyed this review and walkthrough. This, for the money, for 62 bucks Canadian, is an easy 10 out of 10 in my books. It's just so clean. Nothing really run down or not much wear and tear showing. It's pretty new. It's very modern, if not a bit boring style-wise, but comfortable bed and everything else is great. So let me know your thoughts and comments down below. If you wish to support what I do, there's links to Johnny Strides channel membership and Patreon support down in the description. That's my main channel. Uh, I just throw these secondary reviews and stuff up on the Stumbles channel. And there is a super thanks button appearing below the video as well. I'll be staying at seven different properties on this trip and I'll be reviewing each and every one of them. All right, <laughs> thanks for watching, and I will catch you in the next one. Yoink.